Hello everyone. So in this session, we'll be seeing about mod instruction, and then we'll be seeing about negate and absolute instruction as well. Okay. So basically, in the previous sessions, we have seen about some uh, some of the mathematical functions like addition, division, multiplication, and uh, uh, subtraction. So in this session, we'll start with mod instruction, and then we'll be seeing about negate instruction and absolute instruction. right so let us start with mod instruction okay i'll be making some new tags here okay so the first tag will be uh basically let us make so uh, make the logic first and then we'll be see what are the tags right so here if you are able to observe this math function has mod instruction here okay so let me take this mod instruction so basically this mod instruction is used in order to get the remainder after dividing two values okay so when the first value input number 1 is divided by input number 2 so whatever the remainder will be that will be stored in this output right so we'll be using some addressing here uh, so i'll be taking one counter here first okay i'll make a counter and then here i'll use one no right now what we'll do is i'll give an input pulse here so basically we'll be requiring an input uh, input tag input pulse tag then we'll be having a reset this will I'll, this i will set to 0 and this current value will go to this input number 2 okay and then the first value will value will be divided with the current value of the counter and the result will be displayed here okay so let us observe what is going to happen in this logic okay so the first thing we'll be doing is we'll be making some tags here okay so the first pulse will uh, first tag will be input pulse okay input pulse tag okay and then here will be having a reset okay and then this is our input pulse then reset then will be requiring a current value of the counter current value of the counter will be in the form of dub, uh, double word right so let us make it make it as double word md so basically here will be requiring the data type that is double word okay and this will be md0 right right now what we'll do is input so it will be int teacher 1 let us take it as integer and the result will be stored into this result right i'll give it as result okay so it will be stored here so now let us make and take all these tags into the logic so the first pulse first thing will be input pulse here okay and then here will be having this reset that is reset here right and then will be having this current value as 0 right and then will be having md0 here right and then will be having this md0 here also okay because we need to divide the first value that is integer integer 1 okay integer 1 with current value of the counter right and the result will be shown here right so in this way we have taken all the tags now what we'll do is we'll try to observe what is going to happen okay so let me download this one okay after downloading we'll be going in the online mode okay and we'll be observing the logic so here if you are able to observe when this value will come here okay so initially it will be in the zero state now when it is in zero state so let me go in the online mode and observe it what is going to happen okay so here if you are able to observe we are having all the tags here and i am resetting it to zero initially again right and i am going to the monitor mode now so let us observe what is going to happen i have given this value as 20 here 
okay and when i am giving the pulses the first pulse will what uh, it will do is because 20 uh, let me give the first pulse and then it will be observing okay so when the first pulse is is given 20 divided by 1 is um, done and it will be 20 obviously and the remainder will be zero here again when you are dividing this with the next pulse see here if you are able to observe the current value of the counter is now become 2 and this is now the integer value is divided by this current value of the counter okay so again the value is 0 because 20 divided by 2 is 10 and remainder is 0 now when you are giving it as 3 okay so when you are giving this as 3 or let us reset and make it once again okay when you are giving it as 3 okay so when you are giving it as 3 then you are able to observe that this result has remainder as 2 because 3 6 are uh, 18 right 3 6 are 18 and the remainder will be 2 obviously okay now in this way when you are increasing the value of the counter okay so 4 20 divided by 4 is 5 and then again we are giving it as fifth one then the output is 0 right in this way it is happening so 20 divided by 5 is again uh, remainder will be 0 and then we are giving the next pulse again the remainder will be 2 because 6 3 is 18 and remainder is 2 in this way it will be happening okay again we are giving it as 7 then this has become 6 because 7 2 is 14 and 6 is the remainder so basically modulus instruction is used in order to produce the mode of any uh, basically remainder of any uh, calculation or okay so now let us make some changes into into the logic what i will do is i'll take this value the result of this mod instruction okay this result of the mod instruction and i'll try to change the sign of this value okay so initially suppose it was 2 right so uh, it was positive value so when you will give this negate function here suppose i am taking this negate function here and i am giving this result as an input result as an input to this negate function okay and this is our double integer and here we'll be having the output of the result uh, negate function so let us make one more tag here okay so this will be a negate result let us take it as negate result okay and this will be stored in this negate result okay so the value which is negative will be stored in this negate result okay so now again let us download this now what will happen is what will happen is when you are giving the pulses so whenever this value is not equal to zero then we'll be having some integer value here okay because uh, suppose if we are giving it as uh, 20 divided by 3 obviously then uh, there will be an integer value as 2 here because the remainder will be 2 and this value will go to this negate function so 2 will be converted to minus 2 because this is negate function so similarly if you are giving it as minus 2 then it will be plus 2 right so basically it is used to change the sign of the input right so let me go in the monitor mo uh, online mode and then we'll be going into the monitor mode right so here if you are able to observe the remainder is 6 okay so it is taking the previous value whatever we have taken and now this 6 has been converted to minus of 6 okay so in this way because the sixth pulse is there okay the current again we can check it okay i am giving it as a reset okay and then uh, let me give it the reset so again it is zero i am giving the values from here so if there will be no effect till 2 and then we are giving the third one so 20 divided by 3 is how much it uh, basically 6 point something something so the remainder will be 2 and this remainder will go here okay so this is 2 now and 2 becomes minus of 2 so in this way this behavior is happening okay this is how this negative 
negate instructions behave okay so now what we'll do is i'll use an absolute instruction here we'll use an absolute instruction okay what we'll do is try to analyze what is the behavior of this absolute instruction okay so here what will happen is when you are giving an input uh, this input this is a negative value okay so when you are giving this negative value to this absolute instruction it will convert it into positive value okay whatever may value will be given to this absolute instruction it will always produce a positive value whether it is negative whether it is positive this absolute instruction will only produce the positive values right so let us observe it what i will do is i will make an one more tag which will be an absolute result of the absolute right so abs result i am giving it as abs result right so now i will be taking the same tag here okay what i will do is i will take the same tag here so uh, this will be coming from here this input will be from this negate result okay so negate result okay and the data type here will be selecting it as double integer and here what we'll do is i'll give it as absolute instruction abs result right now i'll download this one okay so what will happen this negative value will be converted to positive value even if the value is positive at the input of this absolute instruction the output will be again positive only so in this way this absolute instruction works so let us observe what is going to happen so let me go into the online mode okay after going to online mode let us go to the monitor mode and observe what is going to happen okay so here if you are able to observe i am give, resetting it to zero initially okay and now i am giving the values the first pulse will be given it has now the next pulse will be given now when you are giving the third pulse will be having some value at this mod instruction and this value will be going given to this negate instruction so the value will be negative and this negative value is again given to this absolute instruction so it is converted converted into positive value again because absolute instruction will always present produce positive values even if you give negative okay so in this way this absolute instruction is working so the remaining instructions will be seeing in the next lecture so thank you